Since 2007, Williams has launched new academic majors in environmental policy and in environmental science, established the Zilka Center for Environmental Initiatives, and set ambitious goals for carbon reduction, energy conservation, and local food sourcing. In fall 2014, all these initiatives will come together in a new environmental center that will serve as a model for environmental education and sustainable practice. We're going to take Kellogg House, which is an old building at one time when it was located somewhere else, housed the president of the college, and we're going to renovate it. And it will house the Center for Environmental Studies and the Zilka Center for Environmental Initiatives. It'll be a building that will make its own power and it's a building that will harvest and treat its own water. And instead of the building being imposed on an ecosystem, as buildings usually are, the living building challenge philosophy would be uh, that the building should be part of the ecosystem and maybe even work to improve the local ecosystem. Over the past three years, faculty, students, staff, and architects have worked together to renew and extend Kellogg House as one of the world's first historic buildings to meet the Living Building Challenge. Living Building Challenge is a series of requirements with no options, organized around water, energy, materials, agriculture, health, beauty. Kellogg House is requiring all of these very high performance characteristics in a building that will also be very heavily used. I think the fact that the new environmental center is going to be a living building is a statement both about Williams and its commitment to these issues and also a demonstration of the fact that it's doable. Lots of it is new and risky. We don't know if everything is going to work. I suspect things will work differently than we guessed at the moment, but that'll be part of the process. We're sort of taking the lead on an issue that's incredibly important for this country and for the world. And by taking an action like this and building a building that embodies all the principles that they're trying to teach their students and trying to spread to the community, it's a much more powerful way to do it than just having somebody read in a book, oh, this is what you should be doing. So our students don't just learn, they do. And around the environment, there's a lot to do. They want to be touching their own connection to the environment, and they want to be minimizing their impact in ways that are demonstrable and draw other students into collaborating with them. Having a building which is out front, on the cutting edge, that's trying to do something that's never been done before, uh, that excites students. The new environmental center, I think, is going to be a fabulous opportunity for lots of connections to be made among various groups around campus. Well, when the Kellogg House is finished, I think it'll mean for the students just a very clear place that they can go and a place that they'll really enjoy spending time in a way that the environmental studies program can become a much bigger part of the whole Williams life on campus. To choose a living building challenge and to, to set not just a single high performance goal, but a whole host of high performance goals, I think is really important from a leadership perspective. Uh, what Williams does, other institutions take note of.